Well, as some of y'all know, most of y'all know, my late husband, Kale, has been gone for a little over three years now. And every time this thought enters my mind, it hurts a lot. Kale had more tools than a middle-aged man's dream shop, okay? Um, in 31 years, he accumulated so many tools. Um, of course, his dad and mom and me share most of them, but they left me with a lot of, you know, a huge percentage of the rest of them. And I still have not organized it. And it's like hitting me why they're not as organized. Um, it's because he didn't organize them. Even though in my head, I know exactly how his shop was organized. I, I was there, I helped him pack and move them twice in our relationship. Um, I helped him make the wall that he hung everything on um, above his bench. I helped him make his bench. Um, so I know how he'd want it, but it's hitting me when I moved into this house. This was my first move after he died. I said to myself, yeah, we're going to organize it. We're going to put them all on the wall and make it just like how he wanted and everything. I don't even know if this one's his, honestly. Um, I know these are his for sure, but uh, it's because he didn't do it. He he didn't organize them. This is his, one of his toolboxes here. Oh, he found this on the side of the road. If you are in the oil field or you know people that are in the oil field, he worked in the oil, oil field, that's a tongue twister, for quite a while when we met and he would find stuff like this on the side of the road in the ditches on the way to work site. So this was his box and it's left exactly how he had it. Okay, everything, all the stickers, the organization, he even has a thing of stickers here. And I just, I can't bring myself to do anything different. This is exactly how he wanted it and this is exactly how it's gonna stay. Um, I don't know if it's a sign of healing or anything good to want to have a little bit of change. I'm like shaking, like talking about, it's weird talking about this out loud, but I don't know if it's a sign of healing or if it even matters, but here's another cool thing about him. He had Carmex everywhere. I still have a million of his little Carmex steels. I mean, everywhere. This man had 50,000 tubes of Carmex. Um, combs, why is this in here? I don't know, but it's gonna stay in there. I don't know if it's a sign of healing or moving forward or anything like that. I hate the term moving on because that's never what it is and that's never what it feels like. That term is just gross feeling to me, so I'll never say that. Um, I think it's fine. I think it's healthy. I don't know if it's like helping my brain live in the past or just holding on to that too much. I'm really good at holding on to stuff for way too long, but I just can't bring myself to do it. All of my widowed friends that talk to me in the comments, I appreciate you reaching out so much. It really helps to know that I'm not alone when it comes to the decisions that I make in my grief journey. But yeah, this is just something that I have a really, really hard time messing with because it's just, it just hurts a lot, y'all. It's just not a good feeling to have. Some of these tools, he spray painted them yellow so that people don't steal them. I mean, he has his name on some of this stuff. Um, I just love it. And uh, like you see in maybe a short that I posted, I don't know if I did end up posting it, but I look for an excuse to use these all the time. When I, he first died, I was like, nobody freaking touch it. Don't touch any of his stuff. We're not gonna do anything with it. It's gonna be memorialized on a wall. But as time passes um, and I don't organize it or anything, I put this, I put random things like this in my Ranger. I use it for work. I put him in my pickup. I put him in my cart so that if anything ever comes up, his tools are still getting put to good use. Um, and I love that. I even, sometimes I laugh with myself because I'll use, the other day I used his uh, wire cutters to cut um, tomato plants. And I just think it's funny when I use them when they're not you know, supposed to be used on certain things. This one got wet 
and got a little rusty, so I'm gonna clean that off. But yeah, I just, does anybody else do that? How many years has your spouse or loved one been gone? Do you do weird stuff like this where you just revisit the topic every now and then? Is it healthy? Everyone is so different, so I don't know who to listen to. I don't know who to trust when it comes to people telling me what to do and how to, but that's just what I do. And it's always fun to share. This is like a tiny little fraction of all of his tools that he has and accumulated. I have kept his dirt bike, his motorcycle that he was working on, um, his pickup, my car that he got me. I just, I know it's been over three years, but I'm so blessed and like honored that I'm in the position where I, I know a lot of widow friends had to sell a bunch of their stuff for money. I am so blessed and lucky that I didn't have to sell anything and that I could afford it. And I do feel like a hoarder because I'm hoarding our marriage, our entire mar marriage, everything that we have accumulated and built together. If you want to see some stuff that we built together in the shop, he taught me a lot about woodwork. Um, let me know in the comments if you are even interested in that. I never know what y'all are interested in, but that's how I cope. And I don't know. I don't know if it's healthy or not, but that's what I do. <laughs>